Hello again guys and welcome to another episode on the Hypermind server with Cass on the Misma channel. Alright guys, so the plans uh, for today are to work on those uh, spider spawners down there. We're going to head there in a minute. And if you'll notice something different around here, uh, it's my texture pack. It's my usual texture pack. I didn't have it on uh, on the first episode because I was trying to avoid lag. Uh, as some of you guys know, my computer is not any more than, than a potato, almost a baked potato, since it also gets lots of heat, <laughs> unnecessary heat. So, uh, yeah, this is the area we're going to be working on. So, uh, the first thing we want to do here is to be able to turn off uh, those spawners. Uh, and once we do that, we are going to use a minecart system and a detection system. Pretty cool, simple system that we're going to do mostly for fun there. But the thing is, we are still short on supplies. We don't have enough redstone. Uh, I plan on turning off the spawners uh, using uh, redstone lamps and yeah, we are really short on redstone and since I'm planning on doing lots of projects using redstone, we really need to mine <laughs> a few resources. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is to collect a few resources. We will also need uh, glowstone and I don't think we have any. Let me check if I... Yeah, we have a stack! Yeah, this is good, but this is also all we have. So yeah, maybe I, I will just use this uh, to save us some time. So. Uh, let me collect just a little bit more uh, resources and then we can start this project. Alright guys, and we are finally back, got some cobblestone cooking here, um, and we have twice as much the amount of redstone that we have, also collected a few diamonds and lapis. Uh, it looks like a lot, but once you start crafting things like the lamps that we're gonna need, and uh, the repeaters especially, uh, yeah, it goes really fast, like, looks like a lot, but we don't have really much. Okay, uh, this is the dangerous bit. We need to get uh, on top of this thing on the ceiling and uh, start placing the lamps there so we can finally turn the spawner off. And once we turn this off, we can start digging and yeah, changing this whole trap into something uh, quicker and more useful. So, you, okay, let me get prepared. All right, I've got the lamps, guys. And wow, this is the moment. This is the moment. Mm -hmm. Let's see how high is this thing. I'm not even sure. Okay, we can see the spawner. The thing is, they they do climb walls, so <laughs> we have to be uh, really precise here and not fall there. Please don't fall there. <laughs> okay, let's cover the ceiling. I didn't cover the ceiling uh, completely when I first uh, encaged this thing here. Okay. So, is this uh, the block where we have the... Yeah, this is the spawner. So, let's place this here and start closing things. Hmm, is this the right height for this thing? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we should have a lamp here. Okay, so let's start wiring this so it gets less and less dangerous <laughs> as we go. Okay, we will have to build up the ceiling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Please spiders, don't spawn on my face Because I don't like you cave spiders You poison me all the time And I hate your guts <laughs> Okay Yeah, some of those blocks we're going to change into uh, lamps later but I'm just not worried about this now. I'm worried about not getting poisoned. Okay. Here. Okay, let's make room. Finish the ceiling. Here. Good thing I have efficiency 5 now. Close this thing. I can't hear any spiders spawning. I wonder if a single lamp <laughs> is enough to stop to prevent them from spawning. But that would be just crazy. But really, there is no sound, no spider, no cave spider sounds here. Yeah, I can hear spiders now. Okay. Almost done doing the ceiling. Oh my. Uh -huh. I hope we don't have to go through any lag spikes here because this would be bad. Okay, okay, we're almost done. More blocks. Uh oh. Uh, place a torch here. Mm -hmm. My pickaxe is almost broken. I'm gonna have to stop and repair that. Okay, a few torches around the place. Hmm. Okay, I was planning on having uh, redstone lamps all around this, like building a ring of redstone lamps but I'm not sure if we need this okay let's uh, replace this with a lamp also this and this and this one connect those Okay, question is, <laughs> is this enough to stop the spider spawner? Hmm. I can hear this spo ah, the spiders, but those are the spiders that had already spawned before. Uh, are they drowning? Yeah, I guess we are gonna need to wait for those guys to die and Yeah, I also have to repair my pickaxe. So yeah, let me take care of that and I will be right back uh, Okay guys, I decided to redecorate this place and run a few tests and <laughs> Of course, I'm joking. I am on a single-player map now running some tests So I know that this will stop uh, the this spot uh, the cave spider spawner so what i did there was something like this so let's test if this is enough to stop the spiders from spawning because i would like to build the ring uh, i think it looks better but uh if we don't uh, if considering we don't have a lot of resources at the moment yeah i think with the we we could just uh, save a little bit on resources for now. Hmm. I don't think any of those guys are spawning. We're probably going to be safe and get away with just five lamps, which is good. 
Hmm. So I just hooked uh, that thing up to a lever here temporarily, and I started uh, digging this area up here for the second spawner, and look at what I found. <laughs> Another spider spawner there, but those are not going to be activated at the same time, so I'm just not going to work on that one. Uh, we also have this minecart thing here, so we can probably break this and uh, we lost a few rails and a golden apple yeah I could use a golden apple okay uh, let's climb up down 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 and yeah a few rails and there is also another uh, minecart back here so let's see what this one has huh yeah rails rails are going to be useful and also the minecart uh, oh my, I have full inventory now. Okay, uh, what can I get rid of here? Probably this bone here. Can I grab this? Uh, yeah, the minecart would be useful, but we have plenty of iron, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's uh, place the last lamps here. Okay. First place I dig is a good place. Uh, lamps, one lamp down there, and we can already uh, turn this on and count two blocks. Dig, place a lamp, two blocks on this side, dig and place a lamp, and another one here, and one, two. Another one there. Let's turn everything on. Okay, so you see um, the spiders um, were. Oh, whoa, 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 almost dropped. <laughs> almost fell. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yeah, you see some spiders, they just don't go in. So, yeah, this is annoying. This is why I want them to die as soon as they spawn. Yeah, so this is going to be a lot more efficient once I do that. Okay, so now that we have all that stuff hooked up, it's time to turn off uh, both spawners and start digging the area. So they will spawn in mid-air and fall to death. It turns out uh, those lamps were not enough to stop the spawner from spawning, so I added four extra lamps up there. And now I already dug the area. Uh, well, almost. Uh, I stopped here just to show you this little trick, uh, which is if you don't want to count the blocks uh, for the cave spider spawners, uh, what you need to do uh, is you dig until the spawner stops detecting you. And when you are at this point, if you just add one block or simply jump, it will activate the spawner. So uh, this is the perfect distance for the cave spiders to die. Uh, also, you will notice that I didn't uh, dig. I, I didn't dig only four blocks in each direction. I dig five because cave spiders can spawn next to the walls and start climbing them. So to be sure that they will spawn in the air and just fall and die, you just dig one extra block. So yeah, uh, what's left to do here is to dig one extra layer here, uh, so I can place the rails for the collection system. Uh, well, I could as well use hoppers here. And I just have to do the exact same thing on the other side, so we will have both uh, spawners, uh, both traps, I should say, done. And we just found more diamonds. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm finally back. And I'm done digging this entire area. Uh, and now I have already placed uh, the rails. This is the system I'm going to use. This is our minecart collector thing. Go! <laughs> Yay! So this is the guy who is going to be collecting everything for us. I have already installed a another one here on this side. You can see that we had to dig all the way down to the bedrock level. This is exactly the size we needed. So this project almost failed, guys. <laughs> so... Uh, what I want to do now is to place 
slabs on top of everything we need to cover uh, this area because we don't want uh, any spiders falling uh, and colliding with our minecart here and I believe I made everything right here I'm not sure <laughs> I still haven't tested it so I believe uh, the spiders will die immediately uh, when they fall on top of this floor but I'm just not sure uh, you guys can see also that I have uh, jack-o'-lanterns uh, along with the floor uh, and that's because, I don't know, in the past if we had a completely dark floor with the rails here uh, spiders would spawn here and even bats and they would collide with the minecart and the minecart would basically stop in the middle of the floor and you would have to break everything and yeah, fix it manually so I know that in Minecraft 1.9 this is not supposed to happen anymore but I don't think it's bad if we just make sure that this is not gonna happen, right? okay, let's do the same to this floor here and let me tell you uh, my plans now so uh, I came up with an, uh, an idea to make this thing a little bit more fun for us uh, and the idea here is that we are not going to have this minecart uh, running all the time Instead, uh, I think we can we can use a kind of detection system here. So my plan uh, is as soon as we test this thing, as we make sure that the spiders are all gonna die. <laughs> this is really something that I need to make sure. Um, I want to have a bunch of uh, trip wire lines inside this thing. So whenever a spider falls, uh, the trip wire will detect it fall and then activate the minecart then yeah the minecarts will, will also uh, be activated independently which is not really uh, necessary not really useful but uh, I'm here to have fun <laughs> really I want to have fun uh, making the system oh oh will we lose our minecart and I can't place this because there is a torch there probably oh no no lava not lava, no, 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 I don't want lava. Yeah, there was a huge uh, lava lake here that I had to get rid of. And there's lava all around this place. <laughs> this is bad. Okay, uh, we need some lighting here because it, we don't want any mobs spawning here, really. So let's just uh, break a few blocks like this. Yes, I forgot you to add lighting to the other side. Hello lava, oh oh, oh oh. Uh, where's my pumpkin? So yeah, let's try to place it real quick. Okay, so this, this. Unfortunately, we don't uh, have the luxury to spend glowstone in this area. Okay, the minecart's back here, so it's fine. So let's add some lighting to the other side. I hope we won't find any creepers now. <laughs> It was so much work, guys. Oh, yeah, those are slabs. Nothing can spawn on top of those. I'm so distracted now. A little bit tired, maybe. Because I built, I'm built, i building this all at once, all in one day, no stop. And it's good that we dug this area, really. We have lots of uh, building blocks now. And we're going to need those. This is something we're going to need for sure. But, yeah, we have slabs here, so no mobs can spawn here, but I prefer to have a well-lit area here, so if we ever need to fix something here. Also, I don't think this the light level here is going to affect the, the spider spawner up there. We can check the light levels, if anything. If it's necessary, then I will remove this, because I want those guys to operate uh, at maximum speed, maximum efficiency. Uh, okay, uh, it's now time for us to test this thing. So if anything goes wrong, I'll probably die and lose lose all my my four levels of XP. <laughs> okay, so let's go back up again. Eat something. And let's flip this lever first. Bam. Okay, they spawned instantly. I wonder if it's possible to accelerate the spawning by turning this on and off frequently I don't know, at a special frequency that would be faster than the spawner because I noticed that frequently uh, 
at the exact moment when you flip the lever, you get spawns like this. You see, this just happens, just happened. I don't know, there's probably something related. Okay, so now we need to get down there and check if they are all dead. If not, we have a problem, big one. Okay, we have drops. We have a flying uh, block here, pretty crazy. Huh. I wonder how it's possible to recreate this, like control this behavior. I'm not sure how we can do that. Okay, can we grab this? Apparently, yes. Okay, they're dying. They're dying automatically. If we throw those items here, not sure what's inside this uh, this guy here. Yeah, just a torch. So let's put the lever and see the collection working. And while this guy is collecting, uh, yeah, we can actually already turn this off. We can go to the other side and test uh, the other spider spawner. Okay, I was really worried because this is so low, uh, this one here, that we had to go all the way to the bedrock level and I was worried that the spiders would not die with that distance, but I guess it's okay. Okay, well, I'll, I almost made a mistake here. All right, uh, turn this on. You see guys, as soon as I turn this on, it starts spawning. Uh, I wonder really if there is a way to uh, speed up those uh, mob spawners by controlling the level lights. Okay, uh, where can we get in? Go. Okay, let's try to... Uh, we need to break this. Okay, they're dead. Uh, let's see if the collection is working on the other side. Where is the... Minecart entrance. This this place is horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, we collected. Okay, everything seems to be working. All we need now is to implement our pretty cool detection system and then the minecarts will go automatically there on demand and collect everything. And then we need to send uh, things to a item elevator. Yeah, of course. And back we are, guys. Uh, so, uh, the basic setup is ready. Uh, we have everything uh, ready here with the collection system. Uh, down here, you can see that we have a place for our two mine carts, and then they work independently. You can see this one arriving now with a little bit of strings. Uh, you saw this block moving. And that's because when a minecart arrives here, uh, it will unload a bunch of a string inside this um, item elevator here. And during the unloading, um, this block will be removed from here. So uh, this system here, which is responsible for detecting uh, when a spider falls inside the trap and notifying uh, the the collection system so yeah the troop wires will, de will detect the spider and then send a message to those guys here so it's going inside the farm to collect all these strings and then when it starts unloading we don't want the minor cards to get interrupted so this block is removed from this place whenever the mine card starts unloading and the same goes for this one uh, the inside of this room is exactly the same as the other one. We just have the trip wires here detecting. Oops! <laughs> and there goes the minecart. Uh, yeah, I tricked it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is a simple item elevator. And up here, what we have is. Uh, just a simple AFK spot here where we can uh, yeah, basically activate both uh, spawners at the same time and we can also click uh, on this chest here which is the collection point so whenever we get new string it goes inside this guy automatically this place is a mess <laughs> this looks terrible so uh, in a future episode we're probably going to build something out here uh, we're probably going to use 
all those blocks that I collected using this farm uh, after a few hours. I was AFK here for a long time, actually. <laughs> and then uh, we are probably going to build something out of wool here just to, to have a nice theme to the place. Uh, can, you guys can also see that I finally have nether wart. I got some uh, from the town and then grabbed some soul sand. So yeah, in the near future, we're going to have uh, potions finally. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we have a collection system, it's working, item elevator, everything is in place, everything is working properly. Uh, this was a lot of work, but it was really worth it. We have our first, yeah, our second farm. The first farm we made was the chicken farm, so we can finally produce <laughs> something on the server, finally. And yeah, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure had a lot of fun, yeah, <laughs> a little bit tiring, but yeah. Lots of fun, really. So, I hope to see you on the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and bye.